Welcome back to Investing and Trading Live, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. My name is Josh Lilquist. I have a good, my, my good friend and pal, Al, with me. I, did, I think I did that last week, didn't I? I'm, I'm rhyming like Busta Rhymes out here, my yeah, good yeah. pal, Al. It is so impressive, dude. But uh, in the last segment, if you missed part of that, uh, we were talking about the you know some of the great opportunities and some of the fear that people have with getting their, into their their accounts, making their own decisions, or they're okay with letting somebody else lose their money. And we're seeing a market that's dropping again. You know, could this continue to go down? I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. But I'll tell you what, we can be prepared for that. It's like having an umbrella. You see the weatherman or the weather, weather lady say, you know what, there might be inclement weather. You're not going to just walk outside without that umbrella. You're going to grab that umbrella, have that in your bag, and be prepared. Same thing in the financial markets. If this market continues to go down, which is a possibility, Mm -hmm. have strategies to profit as it goes down. If you miss seats for the investing class that we do here locally, simply call 952-814-4410. That's 952-814-4410. These are local classes at our local academy. We have a state-of-the-art facility here right here in Bloomington. Next to, actually not too far off of uh, 494, but uh, make sure to get that or just text the word investing to the number 210, 210 for two seats. Al teach these, I teaches these, teaches these, I teach these as well. <laughs> and uh, to hopefully start your journey to make smart and intelligent investing decisions. <laughs> so Al, in the last segment, since we did talk about the fear in the market, I want to bring that fear back into positivity in this segment here. Let's talk about what we do here at the Academy. Because we train people how to invest or simply trade. And it's for personal enrichment, right? You don't need a, a license to do this. You don't have to you don't have to have a broker make your decisions for you and dictating your financial future. So we're seeing more people, as you were alluding to earlier, want to do this themselves. Want to have their best interests in their finances for their families. Not just for it's everybody obviously everybody wants to make money. But what is that money gonna do for you? People want to help their family. I've been seeing people that are, that are coming in that want to do that. I've been seeing people that more, want more freedom of time, freedom of choice on what they want to do with their time rather than going to a not necessarily a 9 to 5 anymore. It's a 9 to 9 or an 8 to 8. To eight. It's a 12-hour a day job, and they're tired of that. But they want to be able to still have extra income coming through. So there's strategies designed for that. I want you to talk a little bit about what we do here as far as our analysis. Now, for our YouTube uh, live people that are watching live on, on the YouTube stream, we have, uh, I have a chart of, of gold, okay? And I want you to just explain real quick here why we use three time frames. So we have a, a, a daily chart right here. And then I have a four-hour chart right here, and this right here is a one-hour chart for YouTube, uh, our YouTube viewers. If you're listening, we're going to explain this to you. So if, uh, if you're not live on AM radio. So I want you to explain why we're, we use three time frames in our analysis <clears throat> to help, get, to help uh, narrow down to what might be a good investment for, for us. Yeah, and, and one of the, the results of using the, the, the tools that we provide, the, the knowledge and the skills that we help you with, is to make sure that you are able to take advantage of the markets regardless of which direction they're going. Mm -hmm. And before I get into the, the time frame and the zones there, uh, it, think about this. The market is up maybe half the time, a little bit more than half the time. The other half of the time is down or sideways. So if you are not benefiting when it's going down or sideways, half of your life, half of the, of the opportunities for you to benefit in your life are gone. You're either losing money or you're not making, you don't have the opportunity to make any money. That's why it's so important to learn strategies for both directions. The zones that uh, Josh talked about, he's got a chart of gold up there. And we see, uh, we see a supply zone and a demand zone. Those are areas where in a demand zone we know there are big buyers, probably institutional buyers that have, uh, are, that have unfilled buy orders that are waiting to be filled at a price that they feel is, is, very, is true value. Mm -hmm. uh, in a supply zone we have institutional sell orders that are waiting to hit the market because, because something is overvalued. And, and the reason we use the different time frames is uh, I think I used the analogy of a funnel before. If you pour mm -hmm. something into a funnel, you know, you pour a lot of it in there. When it finally comes out of the bottom spigot, oftentimes with a filter in there, a filter out the junk, that's what we want to do with these three different time frames. We want you to use them to get you to the point where you can identify it with a high degree of accuracy a price 
that gives you the highest probability of it moving in your favor, the direction you want it to go, mm -hmm. with a high profit potential and the least amount of risk. The most important thing in trading and investing is price. It's finding the right price to enter and to exit a, a position. If you find the right price, then you can have a quality uh, uh, risk management strategy. Uh, we'll show you how to identify when you get out of something the right way with a small loss, if you have any loss, and also with a high profit. You want to make sure that you can identify something that gives you enough profit to, uh, you know, to take on whatever that small risk is that you're looking at. The, the, dif the different zones tell you different things. We want to we want to find you know what's the the potential movement up and down that a, the, uh, that an asset or a trade can can move. Where's the trend? What direction is the trend? Where in the trend is the asset that you're looking for? And then where is that precise entry point? One of the things that those zones will tell you maybe is that there isn't a, a time right now to partic to participate in that particular asset. You don't, you don't ever just look at one thing and, and think, I have to make a trade in that thing, or I have to make a trade yeah. today. Patience is part of what is uh, a successful trader's uh, emotional sure. component. Yeah, and I like how you brought that up, because in the next segment, we're going to actually talk about how to be patient in your retirement accounts. A lot of people think you have, always have to be in the market to be profiting, and having patience, like as Al is talking about, waiting for your positions to come to you where you want to be a buyer if because you want to wait till price is actually on a discount if you want to be a buyer exactly so, yeah so we're going to talk about that in the next segment uh, when we talk more about wealth management strategies which would be like your iras and your 401ks with with multiple time frames but as we're talking about these time frames it may be brand new to some people but we, we show you how that works in these investing classes that we do here locally these are two hour classes and we're you know we'll have charts up and we'll have different slides that explain and you'll because us as adults al i mean we're visual learners aren't we mm -hmm. and a lot of people i meet with say oh, i can read a book but i can't really learn how to read a book you know do something out of reading a book so that's why we have these physical plat classes local letter academies and these are two hour classes to get started in the financial markets if you're brand new or if you've been trading 20 or 30 years maybe you're just looking for more consistency come into one of these classes text the word investing to the number 210 210 for two seats when you do that you're going to also receive the jumbo pack with some strategies to help you get started right away text investing to the number 210 210 now staying on this topic al of multiple time frame analysis and I want to talk more since on, in the next segment we're going to talk about wealth strategies like wealth management. I want to talk more about income strategies on this segment here with multiple time frames. So let's just say there's an investor or we'll call it a trader that needs more income. They have a great job and they, they, they need more income in their life because they want to be able to save because it takes extra income to save. Now in income strategies... What type of time frames would you use? Are you using like big time frames? Are you narrowing it down to smaller time frames? Kind of explain how that works so our listeners understand that you can trade any style. Right. <clears throat> yeah, when we, uh, when we teach people how to invest and trade, we look at each person as an individual, what your goals are, what, what's your, your, kind of your, your, psych, your psychology, what's your emotional makeup, and, and should you be trading short-term or long-term? What are your goals? We want you to identify what you want your life to look like financially down the road, and then we can help put together the path for you to get there. Because for each person, there's going to be a best path that, that you should follow. It may be different for different people. But, uh, but the, the, the point here is that if you're going to be looking for short-term income, you need to use a time frame that is shorter in nature. So the, the, there's time, there's charts that are one minute charts, two minute charts, five <coughs> minutes, one hour, four hour, uh, daily, weekly, monthly. The the time frame chart or combination of charts you use will be based on on you individually. If you're a long-term investor, you're going to use longer-term time frame charts. You're looking for maybe fewer trades but trades that have larger yeah. profit. We'll potential. talk about that in the next segment. Let's get into the short-term stuff. Okay, so the short-term is if you are looking for income, income is something you have to be able to achieve in a short time frame, right? You can't wait 10 or 20 or 30 years to pay for something that you need to pay for or want to pay for now. It has to be short-term. How do you do that? You, you use assets that really are 
our income generating investments and there are a number of them that we teach in, in our classes that you are not being exposed to by your financial advisor and if you are looking for short-term income uh, some people need it weekly or daily or, or monthly you know so maybe different time frame charts are used there but you want to find a chart that gives you the opportunity to again identify a price precise entry and exit point by the way there's two exit points to every trade in addition to the entry there's an exit if you're wrong and there's an exit if you're right and, and all, all three of those need to be identified with as much precision as possible so what's an example of a couple time frames that you might want to use in short-term trading yeah short-term trading you may start out with uh, maybe maybe you're looking at a a, a daily chart and you go down to a one hour four hour chart or maybe down to a five minute chart uh, maybe you do a one hour chart a 15 minute chart or a five minute chart again that's going to be based on on your style so what would you use those time frames for then like so what would your so what would you make your investment or trade off of which chart sure well the shortest time frame chart is where you're gonna that's where you're gonna hone in on the best price to get into something so that's kind of like that funnel you were exactly yeah. so you're using that larger time frame maybe a, a daily like you were saying and then a four hour for your uh, what trend? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then exactly. and then funnel down to your your precise trade time frame, which would be your small time frame, small funnel at yeah. the bottom. Yeah, because all three of those time frames are going to give you information that will help you identify that quality position, and that's really that that's the goal. You can't really get to that precise entry point until you go through those other. Uh, identifications where, where we call curve we'll talk about that in, in the classes uh, and trend you, you don't want to trade against a trend but there are points at which the trend is going to turn and and that's where some of the best trades can be made so who does it who makes that happen it's the the big institutions of people with money so if you could identify in a price chart where their buy orders are and their sell orders are you have the opportunity to basically trade right along with them. Wall Street, when you go into a financial advisor with, the, let's just say that you, you have $200,000, you go into a financial advisor, and they're going to say, okay, we need to get that money in the market right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to disregard current price. We're not going to look at getting out if you're wrong because you're going to hold on to this for years. And we're going to disregard shorter-term shorter profits even though you might have a profit that's taken away, and then another profit that's taken away, they're saying hold on for 10 or 20 or 30 years, then see if you have a profit. Well, you can't generate income by, by doing that. You have to be able to identify what the institutions are doing and where they're doing it that fits in with whatever your goals and your objectives are. Yeah, you were explaining something there about uh, if, you, if people need to pay for something. Stay tuned. In the next segment, I'm going to just been thinking about it, something as Al's been talking about and why people actually use trading or investing. So stay tuned for that. But as we're talking about these different time frames to get in the markets, whether it's an income strategy, whether it's a shorter term income strategy or a longer term income strategy, we're going to give you examples of that in these investing classes. We're going to explain on charts what it looks like because we're all visual visual learners. So simply to come into one of these investing classes that we do here local, we have a state-of-the-art facility right here in Bloomington. Just text the word investing to the number 210-210 for two seats for this investing class. A couple things that we cover in there. How the markets actually work. Um, how the market, what the uh, opportunities of the market moving forward might be because we're seeing big drops again. What are some opportunities based off analysis and based off probabilities and also historical information. So, you know, that's where our, our team of experts are, are helping people coming in to make smart investing decisions. So just text the word investing to the number 210, 210 to come into these classes. They're only about two hours. We do these during the week and the weekends. A couple other things we cover, different strategies with futures, forex, options, and whether they're short-term or long-term, especially in retirement accounts. So you can also call to come in, into this class, just simply call 952-814-4420. That's 952-814-4420. Coming up next, we're going to talk about those retirement strategies or wealth management strategies. And I'm going to get into why people actually get into the market. What are they trying to use it for? This is Josh and Al, Investing and Trading Live. We will be right back. <laughs> 